It's been 24 hours in the count calling me round. When are you gonna talk about Serena now? <sighs> What's up guys, the Insane Game Freak here, here to talk to you about Serena and Pokemon X and Y because people have wanted an update and people are like, why didn't you do this as a joint video like you did the first one? Particularly because I feel like there are some things that I openly want to talk about and if people want to have, and we can have a discussion later to kind of explain all on top of it. But I'm just going to kind of go through how I currently feel about the character. Now I have not watched the latest episode in which Finnick can evolve, so that's the only episode that I think that's the, the it's because I think after that is the Mega Evolution Act Three thing. So the, I haven't watched that episode yet, but I've seen everything else. So I've seen her first Tripokalon and the failing and the crying and the design change and all the other fun stuff. So let me talk about Serena and how I feel about her currently, because I think originally when we made that when I made the video with Tyrone the Guy Three, it was during the point in which. She hadn't even gotten Pan Cham yet, so I guess I should talk from there and go forward. She has improved as a character. I'm not even gonna lie, and as of right now, but the only character I actually think she's better than in terms of comparing her with the other girls, which is somewhat not of a fair comparison considering she hasn't been done being developed. I only really think she's maybe better than maybe I don't even know. I'm mean, I don't even have as of right now. I would argue she's not even better than any of them. In, in certain aspects. I mean, she has certain things above certain girls, but like as an overall package, I still find Serena kind of weak for numerous different reasons. So first off, going into the Panchan episode, that episode, if, if and granted, it's been used since then, but that episode really cemented that they are reusing that Pokemon opening theme way too much for epic moments to the point in which you're getting tired of hearing it. It's literally almost all the goddamn time. Stop using the opening. I get it. Choose a different song or just let the or just use the normal hype music that you plays in the anime normally. You don't have to use the opening for every little moment. I know it works in certain situations and then at a certain point it just gets jarring. It gets so jarring. So as far as her, her Pancham, I have no problems with her Pancham. I like the fact that it has a definite personality, even though it's still... And I like how the Shades thing isn't as abused as it was with like characters like Sandal or Squirtle, where they really made the Shades an integral part of the character, versus Pancham that's just... He rocks the Shades, but he doesn't like... The Shades don't make his character. He's just kind of... And I like the fact they gave him and Chessman kind of this sense of rivalry, because to me it makes Pancham seem more fleshed out. Compared to Finnegan, that just seems really fucking neutral right now. Uh, I'm glad she's actually using it more. So that's a cool note. Uh, and now to get into the Tripokalon stuff and the crying, which is what most people want me to talk about. I don't really, I'm just, I don't, I'm neutral with it. Almost every girl has cried except for maybe like Iris. I think Iris is the only girl who hasn't cried in the series. Dawn cried, May cried, Missy cried. Missy was more... Missy's was was less situational versus May and Dawn's, which were both based around contests. Serena's cry is really well animated. The scene is really well done. But as far as the emotional backdrop and you actually feeling something for the character, I kind of didn't. I'm not saying I didn't feel anything. I, I was shocked at how well done the scene was. And I was shocked at how, how I like how the date episode led into our costume change. Because if you notice, the bow, the, the, the blue bonnet she has is based off of the blue ribbon she got from Ash. So I do like that, and I like how well the scene was done. I just don't have any emotional connection with it. And let me explain why. Let's take, I'm going to use Don and May as examples here. And people don't know that, people know that Don is like my least favorite. Uh, I still like Serena more than Don, but it's not by like a huge chunk. Uh, Serena has a lot of weird one-off gags that kind of help her out, but like as a character, she's not that much better than Don in terms of personality. Development, I think Don is probably still better developed. Uh, well, hell, I think Don's better developed than Misty, technically. 
Uh, to an extent, anyway. Misty beats her on some things, but I think Donna Brawl is better than Misty and Serena. I don't think she's better than uh, May or Iris, though. But getting back into the whole connection, when Don lost her first contest, even though Don, when see see Don's was more of a post a post development, whereas uh, May's was more of a balance. That's why I think May did it the best. Because remember, the the thing about when they set them up for their contest and them losing was well for for Don it was overconfidence, and then when she failed, even though the fall wasn't that hard, she took it harder than you would have because she had. She had the confidence of someone at like a master level. And so to, to fail at something as basic as the first round, and then she carried that chip on her shoulder for a while. Like it took until Meg showed back up into damn Diamond and Pearl to help her get out of the funk. Even when, like, even if anyone remembers when during the Maylene episode when Ash was trying to fight Maylene and Maylene was going through confidence issues, Don was helping Maylene. And even at the end of that, Don's confidence was still pretty shot. There was a lot of build. There was a decent amount of build about her being overconfident and cocky and falling. And I thought, and I, the one thing I give Diamond Pro praise on is that when she is when she was coming out of it, that was her grind, just to regain her confidence and to reassess herself. Whereas with May, May who was a newbie, so it wasn't too hard for her to accept a, a, a loss. Her biggest thing was doing all that practicing and. Because that's the thing I liked about May. They actually built up her on her routine and had her work hard and grind on that fucking routine only to get to the contest and fuck it up. And it became like this big... And for her, it was more of... she. You could tell May's frustration was partially with herself, but also the fact that she kind of failed to hold down her Pokemon. And it just... To me, I, I thought that that was well done. Especially because of the way they lost and then how they handled when they lost. And for me, it was because of the buildup behind the loss. You know, the fact that they worked on the routine and they still fucked it up. You know, that one. And I think Don's was even different because Don's, it wasn't like Don, I don't think, fucked anything up. If I remember right, Don just lost the first round naturally. Like, it wasn't even like she messed up the routine. She just lost the first round. And then you get to Serena's. And then Serena's was, was just kind of like, eh. I've seen it done better, so it's like, looking at Serena's is just kind of like, eh. I mean, let's think about it. Serena's didn't get built up that much at all. The only real built up she got was the summer camp stuff, which helped her find her dream, in a sense. And then, like, her mother, and telling her mother that she was in Tripokalon. Even though, personally, I felt like that should have came after she at least won a few. Then it would have had more of a bigger impact. I mean, the episode was fine in its own right. I just felt like that would have helped uh, because it would have showed her determination. It would have it would have correlated because to me, she showed more determination to prove that she wanted to do it than actually doing it itself. Uh, because the episode itself in which she loses is she loses because the stuff was a little bit too heavy for Finnegan and Finnegan tripped. I don't think anyone looked at that. Like, like in the way the scene was shot was really well. Like, the I'm not even saying anything. Like, the way the scene was shot and the animation was on point. But there was no emotional impact because it's like, oh, oh, no, Finnegan tripped. And it's like, oh, so you, because you accidentally put more, like, there, it felt like there was no real, no real skill or finesse involved into it. Like, I didn't feel like, see, you know, we saw May and Dawn train to get their techniques down. Whereas it with Serena, it's literally just dressing up your Pokemon. All you have to have for to be a Pokemon trainer is just to be good at fashion and correlating with your Pokemon. That's about it. So when you compare the struggles that Dawn May, even when Iris and Misty went through their perspective struggles, and then you look at Serena's and it's just like, oh, I put too much stuff on Finnegan. Even when he, it wasn't even like a clash, it was just too heavy for the Pokemon. Like like that that's not that that's not even gonna compare on any level. And then and then when she cried, I thought the way they handled the cry, as I said, I'm gonna keep saying it, the scenes were done beautifully, which helped the lack of actual emotional connection. Because the way they had her do it is she tried to walk it off and she walked it off, and then the next day she was out there with Finnegan and Panchamp, and she was looking into the sunset. And even though she had the like she was fine, it all hit her at once, and she broke down. And you, like the the whole scene was really well done. But as far as me being like, 
Oh no, Serena, uh, after all that work she put in, because she didn't put in any work. Like, I couldn't, like, it didn't, it, it wasn't a full circle feeling. Like, I didn't catch the feels for Serena because it was just a simple, oh, you put, oh, she lost. Like, I felt more bad that she lost more than I actually felt about, like, and I, it's kind of hard to explain. There was no build up for it, for the, so for the fall, for the viewer, didn't feel as big. Like, I didn't go, oh, my God, no. Like, you know how when you get really into it and you end up crying yourself, Serena's wasn't deep enough for me to get to that point anyway. And then after that point, and really, she hasn't had that many episodes focused to her. Obviously, I know we got the Finnick and Evolving episode, which will probably be her coming out of her rut, even though having her change. Like, there's not too much to talk about Serena because nothing really hasn't changed much. Yeah, she has a new Pokemon. Yeah, she has a goal now. And, you know, I'm happy, even though most of the other characters knew that way. Serena is literally, to date, the character who has taken the longest to actually define herself and what she wanted to do. Misty knew from jump, Don knew from jump, and Iris and May took, a, took them a minute. Serena took her way too fucking long. There's been way too little progress. And to have her... So, so when you get to these moments where she, you know, she fails for the first time... You don't care as much because, for one, she hasn't had this goal for too long. Two, we haven't seen her do any build-up to really work towards the goal. So, what am I emotionally... And, like, we've seen her practice on her, like, on her routine, like, once. That's just not... That's not going to cut it. I don't think she's bad. And she's gotten better. I think that's that, that can be openly said about almost all the characters. Actually, yeah, all the characters have gotten better in some way or another. But that doesn't make her, like, better than anyone right now. She's gotten better in her own right, just not better in terms of comparison. Like, to me, she's still, like, I would argue she's probably still lower tier than Misty. And granted, it's not hard to beat Misty. Like, I feel like if she, if, if you just, if you have her follow this whole thing through, she'll be better than Misty by default. But, like, being better than Dawn, May, Iris, she ain't even fucking close right now. She ain't even fucking close. Her character isn't even fucking close. Ugh. Which is one of the reasons why I kind of hesitated on making the video. Because it's like, there isn't too much to really assess from the last time we talked about it. And even the stuff that we can assess isn't that big of a deal. The biggest scene is the crying stuff with her first try Pokemon. The Evolution episode might bump her up a little bit. But as I said, it won't change too much. To me, Serena hasn't even gone through a character arc yet. Yeah, her whole thing has been about her finding, you know, her two things have been being in love with Ash and being, uh, and finding a goal for herself. And she's starting to come in. And to me, I do like it because she's starting to get into the point in which Serena in the games was like, where Serena in the games was coming to the point of becoming a competent rival by the end of the game. That was the whole thing with X and Y's rivals. Serena's kind of going into the same thing, but as I said, the grind is slow. So she won't get to like a competent level until like the absolute end of the series. So there's not too much to really analyze right now. She's on this slow grind and she's going forward. She's just not going forward that fast and everything she does so far has I've seen done better. The scenes are better animated in this in this version, but like the actual emotional impact of the scenes are weaker. That's just how I feel. But I you don't know. Please, please let tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, but that's just how I personally feel. If anyone has their own little response or rebuttal, I would love to hear it. But as I just said, she's just not. There's not that much of a. <sighs> She hasn't gotten full circle with me yet. She hasn't done that much of an emotional connection to make me feel as much for her as I do for the other girls. But thank you guys for watching. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. This has been the Insane Game Freak. Life's a game. Play to win. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace off.